Steve leaves in eight days. Lou, honestly, you remind me of your mom the first time she met me. <laughs> nice. Yeah, come on. What did I just do? <laughs> what is that? When I'm out of this place and into the next place. It's not even winter yet, guys. Welcome back to the vlog guys. It is Monday. We just finished uploading last week's vlog and I have basically just been pottering around. I'll sit down and tell you what I've done because I do feel like some days when I'm just like, yeah, I skipped today. It's probably worth bringing up what I wasn't filming. So today I got home. So we actually woke up in Brisbane. I stayed at my mum's house last night with Steve. We went to Dermot Kennedy last night. It was absolutely incre like incredible. <laughs> I just went to say crazy and incredible at the same time. It was incredible, crazy, incredible. Can I marry your brain? And then this morning, I actually drove straight from there home because I had Lulu with me. Steve went and had a meeting with a guy named Sam. He actually has worked the back end with Gymshark for Spin & Co. So we kind of wanted to just chat to him about, you know, where we kind of go with a pole and sage and I guess get some professional advice in the sense of social media and partnerships and influences and all of that sort of stuff because he is very knowledgeable in that. So while I have been cleaning, was I cleaning in my sleep again? I actually think that cleaning is like my sense of refreshing my mind. When my house is clean, when my space is clean, then I am a happy person. If only there were a smaller one to clean this one. So yes, that's what I've been doing today, cleaning. I uploaded the YouTube video on my channel, which is the weekly vlog, and then I also uploaded the wedding video teaser to our new couples channel. If you guys haven't subscribe make sure you click this link and subscribe to our couple's youtube channel and then i also have just been doing some behind the scenes stuff for my first aid course which is tomorrow night so in australia you do have to update your first aid and cpr every couple of years mine is run out so i'm going to make sure that i keep that up to date just because obviously i host workshops i do a lot of events with move with us and i do feel like having that is a major thing like i i always want to be up to date with my first aid and cpr just in case i get into a situation where it's needed. So I am actually doing that online tomorrow night. Staying alive, staying alive. So that's what I have been doing today. I'm upstairs. I need to finish putting away those clothes in that basket. And then that is all for the cleaning. That'll be me done. I even mopped downstairs. Update, I'm actually moving out of this place at the end of this month. So originally the owner was going to come back as he had visa problems in the US as well. He's going through his own personal battle with that, with him and his girlfriend. So he was originally coming back, which means that I was obviously locating outside of the space. In the time that I had found a place and agreed and kind of signed on a lease for the time that when I'm out of this place and into the next place, he actually called me back and said that he's going to be staying and trying to to reapply for the visa that he got denied. So craziness, but at the same time, I love this place. That's my thing is like, if it was any earlier, I probably would have stayed for sure. Cause it's just so stunning. Like I genuinely am so happy here. It's such a beautiful view to wake up to this is just insane. I'm not going. But the only thing is that it's been so rainy lately that I don't feel like I've been able to experience my full six months here. So it is a little bit sad that I will be going. And there are a lot of things that I have bought and bought to this house because I just think it worked really well. But on to the next thing before I move to the US, fingers crossed everyone <laughs> send me well wishes for my visa process because that's at a halt right now. The US Sydney consulate is apparently just closed for renovations. So they're not taking any K-1 visa applications and no other consulate in Australia apparently does the K-1 visa application. So we just have to wait for Sydney to be open or we could go to Canada or Sao Paulo and do it there. Not sure what we're gonna do. We might, honestly, we have had talks about moving to Canada for like six months or a year, just as a whole way to get to America. And if we were to go to Canada, it's, it would be freezing, but at the same time, we would be able to have Hobbs and Lulu together in a house. We would be able to be together in a house and kind of start our lives in that sense. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. But Steve leaves in eight days and I'm dreading it. Leave me alone to die. But at the same time, I know that there is nothing stopping him from coming back. So if we do get to a point where we're really struggling with the long distance, I know that he would make the trip back over to Australia to see me. Yeah, that's... I kind of just did a life update to start the vlog. How about that? Anyway, I'll leave you guys with some B-roll for the rest of the day. But I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.
Tuesday morning. I'm about to head into Strong at Hope Island. I'm gonna do a class. My class is at 6.45, so it's currently 6 a.m. And I just know it's gonna be the most beautiful sunrise. I'm gonna miss it though, because I gotta go. So I packed the car, wearing my clothes, wearing Gymshark purple vital seamless today. Then also chucked my Jaeger and Stone jumper over the top. Let's start this day. That was absolutely amazing. So I went to Strong Hope Island. That's my local Strong. There's so many locations. But basically, today we did a loaded lower body. And it was by far the best Strong session I've ever done. So they actually also have an increase. Because they have the loaded lower body for the next four weeks or so. So they entice you to increase your weight while you're doing it. Because it is very, very challenging. But yeah, by far the best Strong class I've ever done. It was amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Anyway, I... I am just at the car wash now. I'm at wash. I'm gonna get my car all cleaned. She needs some love. There's a place in Hope Island called Washed and it's literally $50 for inside and out. Complete clean, completely done and they're so quick. So I love coming here when I'm around the area. Car wash, go home. I have to do my pre-study exam for my first aid course from 10 to 12 today. And then I head straight to the dermatologist after. So we got a big day, but it's gonna be good. I'll see you soon. Mm. Mm. Have some of my one with my yogurt. No, thank you. you Come on, just try it. You yogurt's high in sugar, low in protein. That's why it tastes good. Hold on, I have beef jerky in my mouth. Oh, Ew, you can oh. smell beef jerky. <laughs> you just slobbered all over my leg. <laughs> ah! Oh. <laughs> Ew. You nasty. Okay, I'm ready. It's good, high. Not as good as mine. Time. I gotta get 100 cap raises in. 100 cap. Oh, come hop on my back. guys it's Wednesday we are at the park catching and rowing and fetching the ball we are pretty good at this <laughs> and we are meant to be golfing today but it's obviously really crappy weather so we'll see how that goes <laughs> but just taking her for a play before we head up and then yeah oh Lily you've annihilated this ball sis look she's literally like torn off the rubber and she's cracked a massive hole in it up, it goes up. Nice. Usually when we're playing with Lou, we have to give her like a good rest every now and then because she will run herself into the ground if she does not. Like we've done probably like six throws now. That's six interval sprints for Lulu. And she's not tight now, obviously. She's just standing here waiting to she throw it again. But um, she will be soon and she'll have a little two minute rest. She'll go sit down somewhere, get dirty, and then she'll be back for more. I brought a little snack attack. It's the Harmon's Salted Caramel Muesli Bar. They're amazing. Mmm. 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 Look. Mmm. That's shot, baby. That's shot. So this is Rain. And that's the owner of this place's dog. And obviously Lulu and they are besties. At 
the golf course. We're at Glades Golf Course in Rubina, and it is Al, Steve, me, and my dad, and we are all playing like absolute shit. It is the hardest course. It's so wet, and it's just there's so much water. Like there is so much water. Have a look at this hole. So this is the sixth hole. There's water right there. There's a massive pond right here, and then the boys are teeing off just over there. It's crazy. I know my tee, my red tee is actually over there. So red is for the ladies, white is for, I don't know if white is men's or like just your general tee. And then you've also got the black tee here, which I'm sure is more like competitor level, which is definitely not me. But anyway, it's a beautiful day. It was literally raining this morning and now it's sunny blue sky. So we love that. Such a rough day. Far out. Good morning. Don't need to get your bum. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, she's like, look at all this love. I will just turn over and I will get my belly rub. Dog. Look at her with the crocky in her mouth. She's literally winging with the crocky in her mouth. Boring is not a word that you hear in this room. Good morning. It's Friday. Steve's cranky because he's had four hours of sleep because he chose to watch golf. We got a raspberry muffin. Oh, oh. Holy. Oh, that must be fresh. Fresh as, mate. Fresh as, bro. Oh. Did I you waited, dip an egg in there or something? I waited and no, I did this. I waited for you to get back to the bathroom because I know you'd want to show people the food today. What do you What do you get here? Ooh, I got the Baja Benny. And what does that like include? An, like an eggs Benedict with like a little like southwestern wine. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the avocado toast, obviously. Guys, nice. real quick story. Like the second day I was in Australia, we came to this park and it was raining just like today. It was even worse. And the Lulu. Put a stick up here. No, you put a stick up on no, the bench. Lulu was gonna jump up here because I put a stick up here. And she jumped up and it was drenched and slipped off and landed on her back. Morgan, I've never seen so hysterical. And now you guys are gonna watch what I look like throwing this left handed. Fucking pro. Professional. Does she have a stick in there too? <laughs> a leaf. Come on, sis. <laughs> <laughs> It's so freaking cold. It's Saturday. I'm about to head off to our Move With Us event for our platinum ticket holders. We're just going to train together, have some food, all of that sort of jazz, but it is freezing. Let's see what temp it is. Mm, 12. 12 degrees. It's not even winter yet, guys. That's too cold for me. I'm a Queenslander. It's too freaking cold. I swear, this morning is when I need one of those bougie ass cars that has like seat warmers. Oh. That would be so good. Anyway, I gotta head off. I have an hour to get there, which is a good amount of time. Like I won't need to take an hour, but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't late for it. I'm wearing one of the sail picks for the Gymshark sail. So this one is the Adapt Camo Savannah in the cherry brown. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so good on. Surprisingly, it looks good on lighter skin tones because I've seen a couple of girls who have darker skin tones and it looked freaking amazing on. So I kind of assumed that because it looked so great on them that it wasn't going to look as good on me but I swear it's got like every skin tone covered anyway I gotta go 
It's driving, it's wet, it's rainy. I'm gonna do that right now. I'll see you guys soon. Sports Centre, and we are actually going to go watch the Gymnastics Australian oh, I'm Nationals so today. Excited. I'm so excited! It's been so long since I've been to a gymnastics competition. Even longer since I've been to one. Probably. Yeah, no, definitely. Have you ever been to one? Um, not on this level, but I did watch the Olympics once. On TV? Yeah. Wrong. That's not how it works. You gotta be in the arena to experience it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, I have a friend who's from WA. He's a hand balancer and he got us some tickets because he's a coach. For acro? No, he's a gymnastics men's coach. Okay. So yeah, we're meeting up with him. We're getting going in and then the Wait, premium gonna, session say, starts at 1.30 till 4.30. Oh, we're watching for? Three hours. Get out. What? We're watching gymnastics for three hours? Yes. It's gonna be good. I just, I'm gonna need some snack. Okay. And I'm gonna need, I'll probably need a little bit of a nap. And we can probably get you some snacks. Didn't get you at all. No. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> my ear. Anyway. Ow! I didn't know what you were doing with. All right, we'll see you inside. Yeah, I did pick my my girl's beating Morgan's girl. 